Hello, hello, my friends. Happy to see you here tonight. Um, yes, normal time, normal place, no wind. I think we're going to stay. I'm excited. Last week was kind of funky between weather and power outages and trying new software, which remind me next time I say I might do that, that it's a bad idea. Uh, yeah, I like this one. This one works. I can show you all the things, tell you all the things, and not have to be worrying about flipping around. Yes, Facebook says I'm live, so that's cool. Um, please let me know when you're here, and I'm gonna check Facebook to see. And the whole point of this is, yeah, we're gonna keep it simple. We are not gonna make it crazy. Okay, cool. All right, so what we're working on tonight is what I do all the time. And I thought, I'll start at the beginning and I bet many of you back in the day, whenever that was, or even last week, because time flies lately, were thinking, you know, I used to scrapbook when I was a kid. I used to, I used to save photos and like ticket stubs and it was really fun. Or maybe, you know, when my kids were little, I did that, but I have not scrapbooked in a long time and it always seemed like it took forever and hi, Lana. I don't really like measuring all this stuff and figuring out where things go and I never know what to do. I, I'm gonna show you what it might look like if you don't try you, if you don't use my system, which sounds like a negative. I shouldn't be telling you that, but I'm gonna show you first why I created Simples, okay? All right, so let's come down here. I got all the stuff, and I'll show you where to get the free one for tonight in a little bit. So, uh, let's just say I'm gathering my things. I'm gonna scrapbook, and so I get out some stamps and some ink, because, you know, I like to do that. I need some adhesive. Hi, Janie, Susan, Jean, hi, everybody. Good to see you. Some scissors, right? Some adhesive. I gotta have my photos, because that's where we start. Remember we talked about this last week in the Facebook group. Um, if you're not sure where the Facebook group is, it's linked to this page. So where you're watching us, there's a group that it will send you to, but I'll put the link below when we're all done. Okay, so we decided that we start with our photos. That's the first place, okay? So I've got a gathering of photos. I've got some paper. Pretend you don't have these. Let me move these out of the way. And, okay. So now, all right, maybe this could go here. I like that. And then this one. And then, oh, maybe that one. And this is what you do. You put the photos down and then nothing really works. And what matches. And I don't know if I like it. And you don't know where to start. So then you go online and you look at Pinterest and you try and get some ideas there. All of it gives you a headache and you probably end up, you might complete the layout, but in the meantime, you're really frustrated and say, and that's why I stopped scrapbooking. Okay, let me show you. So I don't want you to feel like that because you know, there's enough to frustrate us in the world right now. So we don't want to be frustrated with pictures. We do want to get our pictures off our phone so I like this, um, this paper. This is from Winter Wonderland, which uh, is a Close to My Heart product that I've been obsessed with and using a lot. My photos are from a visit to the Candle Mill, which if you are a Yankee Candle fan, we went to the original Yankee Candle store that's here. There is one in Virginia as well, but I think it might be closed, my sister was saying. But anyway, this one is in Massachusetts and we went last week. So I have those photos. It's kind of a tradition. We do it every year, except last year we didn't go. But we went this year. We see Santa, we, we smell the candles, we soak it all in. It's so pretty. Okay, so I've got my pictures, I got my paper that I love. I don't know where to go. So I go on Pinterest and I and I browse around looking and all the stuff that I see is like really foofy and really fancy. Might have one photo in the on the page and then like all kinds of embellishments and all kinds of everything. 
and okay, but I've got all these other photos and I really like them too, right? All right, so I decided that my pages were all about photos and I am not mix and match. I'm not tons of, of I'm pretty clean and simple. I would describe that as, as the way I like both my clothing, <laughs> my house, and my scrapbook pages. I am not someone who does lots. So I start you out with a simple, and then if you are someone who likes all those other things, you can do it too. So believe it or not, I'm gonna put this away. I'm not using this now. I'm gonna put this away, and I am going to start with a simple. Now, let's talk about what is a simple. It's an SVG that you're gonna cut with your Cricut Design Space or your Cameo software that lets you import SVGs, your scan and cut, any of your machines that let you cut SVGs will let you cut a simple. I have them right here in my shop, on my site, which again, remember, it's super easy. It's caramiller.com. If you scroll down, this stuff is getting cleaned up soon. I have a bunch of people looking at it. But if you scroll down, you will see today's date and a simple and the price is free. It's free today. It won't be free after today, but it's free today. So you click on that and it brings you in here, shows you what it looks like on my desk. It also tells you some other new cool ones that you might have missed. If you missed the gingerbread one, we're gonna look at that after. My simples are done with a toolkit because I don't wanna measure. I don't wanna worry that I need a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch. I, I, I'm trying to get that off there, sorry. Um, I don't wanna worry about that. I just want to do it. I wanna make it simple and go quick. So if you wanna try this, here's a good one. Add it to the bag. Yes, indeed, it's free. There's no catch, I promise. And then you're gonna put it into Design Space using the upload feature. And then you're gonna make it. Now, when you go to make it, you're gonna notice there's actually two layers of this. I love having shadows behind, so I'm getting double matted photos. Because remember, a simple is basically photo mats and a scrapbook sketch that got married and they had a baby and they called it a simple. So you've got your photo mats and a design for your page or a sketch and it's all set. I like it with a shadow behind it. So I offer that. Now you don't have to use that if you don't want to. If you decide, well, you know, I'm just trying this. I don't know. takes me to instead to find the class. Um, Deb, what takes you there? Um, I can help you after, so we don't, because there's such a delay in here. So send me a message at, and I will, I will respond to you when we get off of here, okay? Cool. So if you decide you only want the white layer, you can not do this one. You don't have to do it. So go back. And I'm going to turn that off. And now I just have the simple. If I want my shadow again, I'm gonna turn it back on and it's right there. Okay, cool. All right, so here is the simple. I want the shadow. So before I do anything, I'm gonna take this and I am gonna glue this down. This is how it gets easy. Because you can do this part ahead of time. You can print your photos, pick a simple, pick the background layer for your shadow that's gonna coordinate with your photos or your paper, but if you don't know what your paper is, do it this way. And then save these. At least get your photos out of your phone and get it into a layout. 
You can finish it at any point. Okay, so what do I mean get it into a layout? This is the toolkit that I'm talking about in the store. Uh, the toolkit is what helps you to crop your photos without breaking out in hives, not getting scared, and not ruining your phone, your, your photos. Bear in mind though, photos can be printed again. It's just paper, right? So here's the toolkit. It looks pretty hard to see in that photo because they're clear. So let me show you how the how they work. The all simples have spaces that fit these templates. There's nothing that doesn't fit a template except a full size photo because then you don't have to crop anything. So this is the way I think I'm going to go with our group photo for our big one and then we'll worry about these other ones. So this is all of us freezing, standing outside. I'll tell you the story in a minute. Um, I am using an HP Sprocket printer to print my photos and I love it. Now, the reason I'm picking this photo is it also gives me a clue as to where I am. And before my brain gets too far away, if I know that's the photo, I'm going to glue it now, but since I'm with you and I might change my mind, take these. So you can see that this template is going to fit there. It's also going to fit here. And then I need, uh, it's also going to fit here. I thought there were different ones. Um, it fits all of them. So all three photos are going to use this template. All right, so let me move this out of the way so it's not distracting. And I think I'm gonna go without the map for a second too so that you can see on top of a light color. So here's this great photo. We are, there's a room at Yankee Candle where it snows, not really, but it makes this, it starts snowing and the girls got, they think it's the coolest thing ever and they were excited to share it with their sister. So this is Lucy's first experience. I mean, this is Lu Lucy. This is Ro. I do this all the time. Grace, Lucy, Ro. You don't see the girls because I'm in close to Ro to see her face. And if you look really close, you can see there is some snow on her head. It's not real snow. So they were super excited for her to see it. I am going to take this, but I want to know that the girls are still there more than I care. I mean, the tree is pretty. I could do it this way if the girls weren't there and I would just crop out Lou and Row that way. But I want all of them, so I'm gonna do it like this. Oh, Shannon, isn't it the best? This year, because we didn't know if we were gonna go, I actually ordered my candles on Black Friday, so I really did much better this time. There was a few things I had to like put my hands in my pockets, so I didn't do it. Um, and you take a, a pair of long bladed snips, scissors, and you literally just cut out the part of the photo that you want. Now, the average person is not gonna know that this is Grace and Lucy's hair, but I will. And I can journal that, so now the average person will know. So there's that one, okay? Now this one, as you can tell, this was Ro's first time. She was enthralled with this ornament that her mom was showing her. So I wanna make sure that her mom's hand is in it, and I wanna make sure that we can see her face. Her booties are cute too, but that's really the key part of the photo in her hand. So I'm gonna do this. Now if I had a smaller pay, a different simple, with a two by two on it, I could probably get the lower part. So that I've got that one. But remember I said I like those booties? Because I have this right here, I'm gonna grab this, which shows her booties. I don't know if I'm gonna use it on this layout or not, but I don't wanna lose this photo, which could disappear when I clean off my desk because it'll look like a scrap. So I'm gonna cut this, and this is gonna go in my photo box because you never know. Yes, Simples use two by twos, and her cute little booty is something I might wanna show off on another, another layout. Um, so then I have this, and then I have Grace and Lou. And since I really don't have Grace and Lou too much, 
Uh, they're dipping their own candles here, which is another tradition. We do this every year and they love it. I'm gonna use this one, even though I do like this one. We'll use that another layout. And I don't really care about the people in the back, but I wanna make sure I get the girls. I could go this way, but then I'd miss sort of. So you just kind of pick a happy medium of what's important. I'm telling you that girl in the back is going to just fade away. I'm not going to see her in a minute. And again, you just cut and cut and cut. So now, if you do this method, which is photos on simples with a shadow, if you want one, I'm going to put you back into the uh, I'll use you later pile. Um, I promise you, you will get layouts done. It won't be such a headache. It really won't. So now I'm going to bring you back in, right? Let's put this one down. I'm going to commit. And you'll find that you do commit faster because you're not trying to figure out a layout 17 times. Well, maybe I should put this picture over here. No, just commit to it. Now try these and see which one do you like better? What goes where? I kind of like these this way. Maybe I want you up here. Yeah, I think I want you up there and the darker one in the middle kind of goes with this one. See how easy that was? It wasn't painful. And now, literally commit to it. Just get it down. And then all those other things that you could spend all day uh, with, you at least have the hard part done. The photos are out of your phone. They're printed. They're on a simple. If, you, if this is all you do one day and you put this away in your file folder until you can come back to it, you are ready to do the bulk of your layout. So now I'm gonna go back to that, um, I'll bring back the dark because I think it looks better here on the dark one. Uh, so now I bring back this, right? And this just pops on here. I level this with my eyeball. I don't have to measure because it's, it's a nice straight line. I don't really have a lot of options how far out of whack it can get. Because if I go too far this way, then it doesn't fit. If I crooked it, it doesn't really fit right. So it's kind of self-limiting. It kind of controls where I put it, right? So I put it there. Now, if you are going to be up all night tonight and you need to measure, okay, go ahead. Measure this. Where's your six inches? Yep. Measure this baby. This is, uh, which you can also look in design space and see. This is 10 inches, so the middle is right here. So that middle is gonna line up there and I'm gonna bring it down. It's still about where my eyeball told me, right? This looks pretty even here. Deb, I actually do, what I was struggling with, I had an older Canon selfie and I couldn't edit my photos or do anything with them in the app because I had an older one. So the HP works great. Um, oh, my phone's up there. One of the things that you don't, I constantly do it and I have to go back in. You don't go through your gallery and then send it to the printer. You go into the app and look at your gallery and then you can send and do it that way. Um, but I do love it. And it seems to be really similar in price and quality. But the photos look great. At least I'm liking them. I do like it. Okay, so this is gonna go like this. I'm ready. I need to add a title of some variety, although I have a Yankee Candle on here. It might work for both, but I'm gonna to wanna to put the date and I'm gonna to wanna to journal. I also, because I pulled my stamps out, so let me put this down and then we could go on. So as you can see, super, super, super quick, right? eyeball how do we look we look pretty good and we're done right I'm gonna cut this off because remember this is a close to my heart paper 
and when it comes, they all have a zip strip. Usually I cut it off first, but I didn't. It won't matter when you do it. The zip strip is this little contrasting piece. <laughs> yeah, mine is was a really older one and it I couldn't update anymore. And my photos, it was cutting off some of my photos. I, I'm, it might have been user error, but I don't think so. Um, so this could go here really nice. This could slide right in here under Mr. Simple. Get under there. And go right across the top. That would look cool. Right? And then I'm ready for, what do I have? I have this one. There's a feeling of Christmas in the air. There's a feeling of Christmas. I like that one. We've used it before on another layout. I also have this cute one. I just pulled out a couple to look at. I have Merry Christmas. This is from the Deck the Palms one. Oh, what fun would be good. And let me show you what else, what other things I have here. Over here, these are pieces that were left over from a simple. Rather than have something that looks like, like this, that's kind of cumbersome on your desk, I tend to trim off what I didn't use and save it. And put the, and that's ready to do, I have two of these right here so I could show you. Um, so that was, these are, I'm gonna hold on to, this is great paper, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna trim it off so I don't have all these kind of funky pieces that'll get stuck on each other. And end up with these, and these just go in a, in a basket on my desk, and so then when I need to do a stamp, I can do it. I have not been using a, die, a hand die cut machine. I just haven't. Um, I've been fussy cutting what little bit I want of a stamp set and I'm happy, but that's me. You could use whatever. Now, from this point on, I don't know if I like you, from this point on, you can go crazy, but you've done the bulk of the work. You've done the part that gives you headaches. Where do I put my photos? How many photos do I get in the layout? How do I make this go together? This is the hard part. Adding all the fun stuff, it's like decorating cookies. That's the cool part, okay? All right, so that's what I wanted you to know. I wanna show you two more that another way that you can simple you can fall in love with a simple that I create and you can say, oh, I need that. I don't have the photos yet, but I need it. And here is the one I think that's gonna happen to you about. This is the gingerbread layout. This was new in the store over the weekend. There's two page layout. Um, so you're gonna be able to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven photos on it. Now, maybe you didn't bake gingerbread cookies because I'm not probably gonna make a gingerbread house. I don't have the patience for that. I, I'm, maybe, I might. I might buy it already and decorate it. I might eat it. But I guarantee you're gonna have some kind of cookie photos if it's just you eating the cookies or a plate of cookies, what have you. This one, when you look in the store, let me see if I can show you. When you look in the store, this one comes with an extra little tutorial because, and let me get back there, because you have to do a little something to it. Um, you can see it in two places. If you see where it says show more, it'll show you right here so that you can decide, is this for me or not? You're gonna need to use the draw layer in your design space, in your Cricut design space. Trying to cut out all these itty bitty little pieces takes it from, oh, I like it, to, oh, this isn't simple, right? I make sure that you don't hate me after you make it. I've done that once in my life and we did that with a red truck and we all hated me and the red truck. So no, we don't do that anymore. I make sure that it's gonna be easy for you and you're gonna be able to do it. So 
this has, and when you download, when you get your downloads, the video is also there to download so you can have it with, and you can keep it with them. It doesn't, it doesn't take long. It really doesn't. You need just a black pen, a black Cricut pen, or just a, a little tidbit so that you know your close to my heart pen fits in your Cricut too. So if you have your journaling pen, this fits in your Cricut. It'll write with it too. Um, in fact, that's what my layouts were done with. Okay. So I also, the gingerbread guy, oh, what did I do with him? He also has two extra gingerbread men that are freestanding, which I've lost in my travels. Um, they're like this size, but they're by themselves. So it could go on the front of a card. It could be a tag. You don't necessarily have to put it on here, although it does fit right here. You could put the two guys here. Um, if you need three, just make another one. Super simple. You tell it to write. Cricut goes ahead and writes, and then it goes ahead and cuts out. All right? So this was the one that came out because, did you know it was National Gingerbread Day? Um, well, one calendar said Saturday, one calendar said Sunday. So we kind of overlapped and went two days with it. But I'm loving what the national days are. They're really fun. And so those might be influencing some of my designs coming forward. All right, so here we go. I am ready to go finish this one with maybe a stamp over here. Maybe I'm going to do Merry Christmas up here. Um, oh, what fun would work. I could also, remember, we're not done with these. Let me see if I can grab one quick to show you. Um, our scrapbooking kits that we've been falling in love with, with the sticker sheets. This one is um, the Jingle Joy. Ho, ho, ho could go on here. Holiday happenings might be too big, but oh, what fun would work. So anyway, do the hard part. The hard part is the photos and the simple, and then at least get that. At least do this. Don't let that stumble you. Don't let that be in your way. You can do it. And a journaling box, absolutely. And we have these that we can use our trim with. We could trim this down. And I could do something super simple, like grab, um, I could grab one of my templates. If you don't have a die cut machine, you can do this with just your Cricut. I could go into Cricut and cut a tag. I could do that. I could just grab this and put that on there. I could do a smaller one. I could do a three by three or even a two by two, right? Pop that right here, that would work. I could put it over here. Lots of options. But this is the tricky part. This is the part that always gives us fits. So just use these as your tool. Just like all the other tools we're talking about, use your simple as a tool and you won't feel so frustrated. Um, the quick story, the reason we're all standing outside and we're not necessarily smiling, some of us, um, we were standing outside for 10 minutes to go in to see Santa on Zoom. Yeah. Um, we had to make an appointment and the elf that was handling this room was not a happy elf. She was kind of cranky. And she kept telling us that we'd be fine. And it was freezing. <laughs> and the kids are like ready to go see Santa. And we're standing outside. And we go in this building and there's no one in there but us. We're the only ones. Yeah. But it was fun. We had a good time. We're missing Kate who actually took the photo. But we had a great time. So, at least we got to go. It was exciting. Um, if there's any questions about this or anything that, you know, you think, well, help me do this or help me do that, let me know. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you get your phones emptied of photos. Get those photos out of your phone and get them set to share. Because if you can share these sitting down with anybody, even yourself, trust me, yourself and flipping through the album it just gives you such warm fuzzies if you're home by yourself 
and you're not going anywhere this year for Christmas, walk down memory lane. It's really fun. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. Please let me know if you have any questions. Be sure that you... Um, I'm, I'm doing a lot of background stuff, like behind the scenes work, trying to clean things up here. I've been all over the place for so long that I have like mailing lists that are here and mailing lists that are there and this and that. And that. So I'm trying to combine things and make them simple. But now um, a lot of times the, the mailing list programs ask you to confirm, which is fine. We'd rather do that. I want to be sure that you really want to know what's going on. So if you are not getting emails from me, and I usually send at least one a week, sometimes two, depends on how chatty I am. Um, if you're not hearing from me, look in your spam folder. If you look there and I'm not there, then just go to the, the Kara Miller site and go down to the bottom and you'll see a place where it says subscribe and just subscribe there. If you have already subscribed, it won't do it again. So no worries. Have a great night. I'll talk to you later this week. See you soon. Bye.